Ah! Oh, oh god, I'm gonna break my neck by doing this. Brrr. Hello! It's a video from another angle, like... There's supposed to be the computer. But it's not there, because you can't see it from this angle. But great, you can't see the Angry Birds post anymore. No, it's just... Musical entitled bullcrap. I'm looking at you, little Timmy. Stay away from my nightmares! Now, hello everyone. My name is the voice Benny Ash all only, and no! Quarantine hasn't killed me yet. Yes, I'm still alive. Good thing. Huh? Well, yeah, yeah, no. We're not gonna talk about the virus in this video. No, 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 no. We're gonna talk about something related to the virus. Okay, I'm just gonna cut this off right here. We're going to talk about Eurovision 2020. Yes! I wanted to make this video for so, so long because I was so passionate with these songs, but then, yeah, then the virus happened and, uh, yeah, it got cancelled. In my own country, yourself or for the people who don't know, I live in the Netherlands and I was so sad because I actually had tickets to go to the event, but hey, we're gonna talk about the songs that all the countries have sent in. Now, uh, for as you, if you didn't know, the songs that have been sent in from this year are not going to be the same songs from uh, for the next year. It's really sad, I know, I think that almost every song from the 41 countries that there are, every single one of them has something good. And I'm just so sad, because there are some really, and I mean really cool songs. But, but, but Penny, which songs do you like then? Uh... Well, youngling, I'm gonna tell you that right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not going to be a ranking. I'm just going to go through every of the 41 countries. And uh, yeah, if I don't want to talk about a song, I'm not gonna talk about it. But I'm, gonna, I'm going to say if I like the song, yes or no. And yes, I have seen the whole song. And if it's crap, it is. I'm sorry that I hurt your feelings. Latvia. Lat Latvia? Left with La Latvia. Mm, yes. Latvia. Honey. Honey. I want to say something about this song, but I don't know what, because I'm so confused what this song even is. I am not saying that it should that it should be low. Like, if I would place it, it would be somewhere around you know spot 30 because it was creative but come on what is this this is weird i don't like it i don't like women with lamps as hands the moth meme is gonna come back and i don't want that to happen don't make me do this latvia <laughs> i really think that moldova has lost their track of good music like in 2018 it was questionable 2017 was amazing but i don't think moldova knows what to do with eurovision if they don't have the epic sax guy but seriously last year was a disaster and was if i would rank it ran, ranked yeah, ranked it i can't english my dudes if i would rank it the song from last year it would be on the 41 spot. Really. It was absolute. But then all absolute shit. And also this. No, thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yay! Everyone happy? San Marino can't get away from the Aedas Pop vibes. Yay! Because I'm going through the list, like, of all the Eurovision songs from this year, and I'm seeing so many that I don't want to talk about, because I literally have nothing to say. So, I'm really sorry for the people who want me to uh, review their country, but we have to go on with the video, because I don't want to edit a 41 minute video, okay? So let's just skip every single song that I don't care about, and just go to the ones that uh, I don't... Uh, really think they are good. Uh, obviously, we're gonna 
review the ones that I find good, but also the ones that I find kind of strange or just bad that I just want to point it out. Wow. Actually, the last few years, I have really been enjoying the songs that the Czech Republic puts out. And this year, it's a, it's another good one. Uh, not as good as a uh, friend of a 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 friend, or uh, lie to me. No, 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 but it's an alright song. I wouldn't put it low, like, let's say, top 20, maybe even. I, I, I just kind of like the vibe, you know? I, I like it. Good job, Czech Republic. <laughs> France. 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 What? The actual fuck are you doing? You had a streak of three years with good songs, and then you put out this awful piece of crap. Top 41. I don't care. Bad song. Stupid friends. <laughs> Okay, I, I think, I think, I hope that we're going to go for the big songs from here. So, Austria. Yes, yes, Bruno, what, what, what do you get if you mix Bruno Mars and Michael Jackson and the vocal cords of Justin Timberlake? You got this. I mean, I really like this song. I really like the vibe, I really like the dancing. If they had a stage, or if there was a live performance, I would love to see what they do with it. It's just really, really funky now. Just really, really like it. Good job, Austria. <laughs> You're not losing the streak again with last year. Okay. Serious topic, guys. I thought... This country was literally invincible of having a bad song. Like, each song that they have put out the last few years is amazing or good. None of them were okay or bad. I mean, probably 2017 was the weakest, but I still really like that one. But what the hell is this? I just said with the last song that I would be seeing good songs from there. But no, Australia, you had to ruin it with with a clown dancing on stage with bad vocal cords. This this just really actually shocks me. Like, I really don't like this song. And I don't know if it's me. I mean, she's not the worst singer by far. But she did have some bad moments with live performances that I saw of her. And just the song and the costume, I don't like it, maybe it's a representation, I don't know, I'm confused! Not as confused as Latvia though. <laughs> okay, so I am going to say that I became a fan of this song like a few days ago. But still, Ukraine. This song, I, I, mm, I love it, I love it, I love the techno style, I like the singing, I mean, live performance can be better, I heard it on the tracks and that's a lot more smooth, the live performance is a little bit, um, I can see why people find it an annoying voice, but still, uh, she can live perform really well, the stage design is amazingly and colorful, and I, I looked through the lyrics, Obviously, I translated it, but the, also this, the writing of this song is... Mmm, I really like it. Good job, Ukraine. I will put you very high if I make a top 41, which I don't want to do unless you guys back me to do it. Or, you know, this video gets a lot of views. We don't know. Every high and every low and the world. Uh. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry, okay? Uh, are you surprised? Like, liking the song of your own country is not really a weird thing, I mean, come on. But, damn. 
damn do I like this song. Like, I have uh, a thing with gospel that I really like it. Like, maybe I got it from Hercules when I was like five years old, going to the supermarket and just seeing that song. I don't know if you had that in your country, but for some reason they sold DVDs at the supermarket where we were going like, what the hell? And probably my mom bought Hercules for me and I got so in love with gospel that I just like this. And I mean, Django, he, he's just a good singer. Like, let's be honest. And this is just a real feel-good song. Good job, my country, my country. I'm proud. Yes, 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 I've missed this for so long, something weird, something amazing in Eurovision. I mean, we kind of had it with Iceland and Australia last year, which both songs I absolutely adored. But let's go Russia! Uno, 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 yes! Yes, you can get them Spain votes. Good job, Russia! And I'll have this song in my recommend for the coming 10 to 15 years. Hmm. Cleopatra. This is kind of a good song. Good for the younger audience. Elderly are not gonna like this. It's an okay song. Nah, this is just cute. This is just this is just a really cute song. Let's just be honest. This, this gives me warm feelings inside my cold that quarantine heart. And it just melts my day. It's not even that quirky like Denmark from last year. This is just a good song. And I like it. Good job. Mmm. I really actually wanted to dislike this song a lot, but man, it is actually a good song, and it has a real majestic view to it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about Big Boy Bulgaria with their Billy Eilish impression. Amazing! Good job! <laughs> but yeah, they two songs really fall in this category, like Romania and Bulgaria. If I had to choose, yeah, Bulgaria would absolutely slay, because I, yeah, Romania is kind of mad to be honest. But yeah, it's a really magical, uh, real magical song with a really good vocals and, ugh, I'm getting goosebumps. Ah, uh, yes, we're getting to a big boy, and what I mean with big boy, here are the rules. Big boy means that I really like the song, I think it's amazing, and uh, it's special and it should be in top 5. I, I don't know if I should set that. I don't know if I want this song to be in top 5. I want this song to be in top 5. I don't know if I will put it in top 5 myself. But this song has something really special with me. I really like the song, it has good vocals, good text, but something feels perfect. I don't know if you guys have that with songs, but some some parts in the song just feel perfect to you. I don't know, it, it sounds weird. It sounds weird, I know, I'm really sorry that I'm confusing you, but the song just feels absolutely perfect to me and I love it to bits. This is like something that I would write. Or just may if I would make a song that this is kind of what we would get. I am yeah, this song is really good. A really step up from the last few years, Finland. Amazing job. Good song. <laughs> yes, Switzerland with good vocals. Yes. Quite a step apart from last year though, not that last year didn't have good vocals, it was an amazing song, vocals just could have been better. But yes, this song is really good as a lot of people would say. High notes, good, a really powerful and emotional song, amazing, and just a song that I just really like and is when just, let's be honest, if the song contest was going through with it all, 
uh, this would probably in the, be in the top five. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not, I don't know if I'll put it in the top five myself. Definitely in the top ten. Well, I have seen some uh, <laughs> top 41 uh, lists and uh, really saw that people <laughs> really like this song, like Lithuania. Come on. First off, what is it? Second of all, where can I listen to it? And where can I learn the dance? Like, but Jesus, the, the, it's the crown from France, but they're just stolen and put a meme on it or something. This is just amazing and already a cult classic if it goes with Eurovision songs. It's not emotional, it's not the best vocals, it's a Eurovision song. It's like Hasha Tumbai from Verka, like, bruh. It's amazing. It's actually just like Russia. But I don't know which one is better. Uno or chicken. Oh, you guys remember what I said about gospel and why I liked it so much with the, with the song from my own country? Well, do I have something for the people who also love gospel just like me? Because Sweden is coming back with the mamas. Hell yeah, raise the stakes. Why, I, why am I doing a Bill Cosby impression? Yes, good song. How did you know? <laughs> it's Sweden, come on. Oh my god! Wow! Wow. 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 If, yeah, I'm listening to each and every song just before I just make the little skit for the song and I have to be utterly impressed by Malta's song. This is just a really, really good song with really good vocals and it's just really catchy and damn! I'm really impressed and I don't know why, like Malta is not really a country known for bad songs, like Chameleon from last year was, I, I really like that song, you know, and this is just way better, like, a really good song, solid 8, 9 out of 10 or something, amazing. <sighs> Finally, I can end the video with the song that I think should be the number one, yes, you heard it right here. This was and is my personal favorite song from this year. Like, by a long shot. It's better than Malta, it's better than Bulgaria or Lithuania or Russia. This song is so oh, darn catchy. It's so darn nerdy. It's so goddamn amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you of the magnificence, the magnum opus of Eurovision 2020. Think about things. Ooh, that's a good one. Yes, and it's not copyrighted, so I can play it in my video. Yes! Yes, everyone. Iceland with Think About Things. This is one of the first songs I've heard. And I already loved it a bit, and my opinion hasn't changed. Yes, this song, as I said, is so darn catchy. The electrical instruments, I don't know if they can really call the instruments, or if they sound really coming from it. It looks all so nerdy, the 8-bit pixel art of their faces on their head, like, like this is my face. Dead. And yeah, it's the, the if you haven't seen the video clip, it's amazing. If you haven't seen the live performance, even that is amazing. It's got so many of those now. Uh, I don't know how to call it. Uh, what do I call it? What do I call it? I'm so stupid. So the habits of uh, like doing. Now, I still don't really know the word, but you guys know what I mean. You know the thing with. <laughs> they blow the hair like back for dramatic effect, or uh, <laughs> the the quirky dance. Like the, ah, it's quirky, quirky, epic. Mm. Ah, kill me. But yeah, this song is really good, and I love it a bit. And I'll hope that they come back with another good song next year. So guys, if you like the video, 
then like the video. Makes sense. Also, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, and if you want to see another Eurovision song, just comment down below so I can know what to make. Goodbye. And I like the tree Smoke so much weed You wouldn't believe And I get more ass Than a toilet seat Three to the one To the one to the three I met a bad bitch Last night in the deep Let me tell you how I'm gonna leave with me Conversation and hands